Hello friends, Eli here of Mystic Circuits. Today I have another vert instructional video for you. This time it's about using the vert as a burst generator. For those that don't know, a burst generator makes a quick series of triggers which is often faster than the main rhythmic clock and sometimes out of sync with the main clock. In a conventional context they are useful for making fills. This patch is being sequenced by the Korg SQ1 sequencer which is sequencing the pitch of a mutable instrument's rings oscillator. I have gate 2 from the sequencer, triggering the frequency central system X ADSR envelope, which is going into the vert. The vert in this case is being used to convert the ADSR envelope into a burst of quick triggers, with the burst triggers being controlled by the shape of the incoming envelope. I will start with no burst so that you can hear what the unaltered sequence sounds like. Now watch as I turn on a gate from the second sequence to trigger a burst. You can hear a quick series of triggers on the first beat. Watch how the lights from the vert correspond to the light from our ADSR envelope. In this case, the envelope decays right away, giving a somewhat even sequence of triggers. If I change the release time, you will start to hear the triggers space out. This envelope is basically the simplest envelope shape that we can work with, giving us the simplest burst sequence. Notice how the burst sequence gets more interesting as we start to change other parameters of the envelope. Here we can actually have a rather large influence over the burst sequence by simply changing the pulse width of the gate, changing the overall shape of the envelope with it. So far, I have only shown you patterns which were out of sync with the clock. However, an external clock can be used in order to keep the vert in sync. In this case, I am using my 4MS pingable envelope generator to multiply the clock signal coming from the SQ1. Using this to clock the vert, we can quantize the burst sequences to the main clock. With no multiplication, we get eighth note quantization. Nothing too exciting here, but if we multiply by 2, we'll get 16th notes. And multiplying by 4 will give us 32nd notes. Using the vert as a burst generator gives us eight different burst sequences at the same time, each one increasing in relative frequency as we move to lower value bits. This is best heard without quantization. I will also remove the normal clock so that we only hear the effects of the burst sequence.
So there you have it. Using an envelope with the vert as a burst generator can add some rhythmic variation and flavor. Thank you for watching.